Hey there, guys. How's it going? Flooding Mon 14 here. And uh, let's do this intro right, shall we? <laughs> Created by Konami. Oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, I always forget that. Usually when I'm playing by myself, I will turn the volume down. Is that better? Yeah. This is Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy. I mean, Flooding Bar 14. We're back on the island, and it's time to play some guitar rift and some card games. Oh man, I missed it. I know you all did too. Uh, yeah, yeah, sorry I've been out for a while. Uh, of course, I mean, a lot to talk about, I'm sure. Uh, there's also a lot, you know, kind of not to talk about. We're really just here to get our game on, right? Alright, let's continue, guys. So, in the last episode, um, basically, um, yeah, I, I just kind of... Uh, we dueled a couple of people, and that's it. And, uh, I also had, like, an eight-month hiatus. Sorry about that. Uh, anyway, <laughs> basically all I did was check the previous video and, you know, just kind of compare. Wh what I love about this game, you know, how it has the date and the time and, it, and the points and, and the title, like, everything. Like, it, it makes it so much easier to, uh, you know, find out exactly where I am in this game. So, anyway... Uh, what we want to do is just come out. I think it's the weekend, so we really just want to let's let's do it, Bastion. Let's just do it. Ah, oh, you're just in time, mate. I was just constructing my ultimate deck to use against Fluid. What? You can help me test it, mate. Uh, you sure about that? Well, you do. Yeah. I perfected I perfected the strat strategic equations to defeat Flood. I'll use them to defeat you. Alright guys, back to Duel Academy, and you know what that means, back to uh, Trap Hail. Hey, I never noticed that, like when you're starting a, in a duel, I'm gonna have to let that play, it was starting to play like some funky more music, I've already done the map, Mike, I'll win, ha, whatever you say, Bastion, oh yeah, look at that back row, three, how much you wanna bet, Mirror Force, Torrential, Magic Cylinder, yeah, yeah. I've been away from this game, gone but not forgotten, right guys? Anyway, my turn. Bastion, I summon Amphibious Blood Broth, MK3. You want easy problems to solve, Flood? I break my face down. Oh, who could have seen that coming? A trap card. Well, I could have, Bastion. That's why I'll now summon this. By finishing an Aqua Monster from my graveyard, I can call forth Aqua Spirit in attack mode. And Torrential, right? Torrential? Oh my... Dude, I was almost like... I almost nailed it. Uh, Alpha, okay. So, I see, you would have tied with me anyway, you silly goose. Alright, we'll set seven tools. But, well, we're in good shape. I got a couple smashing ground, so... <sighs> Already with the trap smashing. Our choice is Veneva, so summon false raven. That's a pretty powerful monster. Luckily, we got smashing ground. And we also uh, set seven tools, so I know it's going to uh, be fine. Y'all just have theorem to be cracked, might. Oh, I have my 1900 meter. But first, activate Smashing Ground. Ah, no magic jammer. That means this has to be Mirror Force. I summon Tranadora. And when he's on the, on the field, my Swallowtail Spike Lizard gives my life points a thousand point boost. Oh, it wasn't Magic Cylinder or Mirror Force. Okay. Well, no telling what that face down is then. Alright, Bastion, I end my turn. Quantum Duels. Oh, man. Do we even have Pot of Greed? I, I don't know. It's been so long since I've let's play this game that. Uh, man, if we don't, we need to get it. Alright, Bastion. Um, well, actually, he has a chain that last back room. So. Oh, I just realized what it is, guys. I just realized what it is. He's not using it on an attack. You know what that means. Bastion has the seven tools of his own. Oh, thank you for bouncing me, Bastion. Hey, thanks, buddy. Now in my main phase two, I'll just summon back my Swallowtail Spike Lizard. This gives me another thousand points. Hey, that's cool. That means when uh, Granador's uh, destroyed, I'll actually go even on my points. That's funny. Or if it's never destroyed, 
I'm up two grand, baby. All right, all right, Bastion, what's next? You said Penguin Soldier, what's next? Hain Hain, Man Eater Bug, Cyber Jar, what you got, man? All right, we really need another water monster, but uh, all the spell and trap removal is nice, considering the game we're playing, so. Yeah, Sam Yam, that's, I don't like that. All right, what are you gonna get? Gamma? Okay, I can defeat Gamma. Oh man, the music in this game is so good. Uh, but yeah, how you guys been doing? I've, I've been, you know, eh, you know, you know <laughs> I, I've been okay, you know. Uh, so he just set the card on the right. So let's play Mystical Space Typhoon, chain it in the end phase, and bye bye. What was that, Mirror Force? Let me see, let me see, let me see. What was this, Bastion? Call of the Haunted! You know what? That's just as annoying. Especially if he would have got back Sam again, which I don't know if the AI is smart enough to do that, but you know. It can happen. Gamma? Oh, there's the man eater bug. Took him a couple turns to get it, but there it is. There's the middle finger. Alright. Well, I'm not too upset, as upset as I'd normally be, you know? Um, well, let me just, let me wait and see what he summons before I drop Fenrir, because I really want to make him skip a draw phase, so. Get him off the Magnet Warrior. Ah, yes. Put it in attack mode, you silly goose. No, 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 no. Go ahead and attack me, Bastion. Go ahead. But you won't be trying a card next turn. Yeah. Oh, and like, at, what, how much you want to bet after all this, you know, Bastion sets down a, uh, a snatch deal, right? Shh. The nerve of some people. Okay, so it looks like, hmm, I could Giant True Nade. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you what, let's just Giant True Nade to guarantee that, oh, okay. You want easy problems to solve, Lord? Magic Jammer. All right, well, since we baited that, let's bait your seven tools, too. I play my trap card next, Bastion. Seven tools of the bandit. This negates your magic jammer, buddy. Oh, so he didn't have the seven tools. Okay. All right. Well, fair play. In that case, we'll go with uh, Granandora. Because I can't use Metal Morph in my hand. All right, so what the hell did he get rid of? Oh, he got rid of the Tribute Luster Dragon. Okay, okay, discarded that for Magic Hammer. All right, all right, well, we'll make you skip a draw phase next turn. But yeah, yeah, yeah like I was saying, man, how much you want to bet after all this, ugh, epicosity, the Snatch Deal's coming next? I bet you, Chad. I bet you, I bet you 20 bucks. <laughs> No, 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 despite all the, you know, you, you get used to it. That, that's just how this game works, man, okay? It's just Trap Card City. Alright, well, you didn't play a monster, so I'm just gonna summon uh, my beater, Giant Red Sea Snake. Alright. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Trap Hole, huh? Uh, you know what? Uh, no, there's fine. There are worse traps. I was thinking like, man, you know what? I could just negate that, but you know what? There are worse traps, and we, we still haven't seen him play Magic Cylinder or Mirror Force, so I'd rather save my seven tools for that. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. We're winning a duel. We're winning a duel. Man, I almost forgot the winning du duel music, man. Do do. Here we go. I draw. Now check this out, Bastion. I summon Mama Grizzly in attack mode. Ha! But too bad for you. You can't bear to see what I'm about to do next. Because now I'll... I'll banish Granadora and Giant Red Sea Snake. Uh, how do you decide here? Okay, yeah, there you go. And now... Let's bring out the one and only Fenrir. Ha! And this wolf's got some bite to him, because whenever he destroys your monster in battle, well then, you can't draw the next turn. Oh, Hain Hain, I knew it. I called that earlier too. 
Go, Fenrir! Ghost Fang Venom! Ha! Now you won't be able to draw next turn, Bastion. Do 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 do. Mother Grizzly, Bear Claw Slash! Oh yeah. Alright. Oh, not bad, Flood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I already summoned Mama Grizzly this turn, right? Yeah, okay. But once again, we will get uh, a full 2,000 life points from Grand Door. Yeah, skip that draw face. Skip that. Now show me the Snatch Steel, show it. Show me the Snatch Steel. Oh, we cut him off from the Snatch Steel because we didn't let him draw. <laughs> Sucks to be you, Bastion. I draw. Oh, Foolish Mario, a little too late. I'm pretty sure I have Sinister Serpent in this deck. Actually, you know what? It's been a while since I've, you know, let's play this series. Let me check just for my own, you know, because, like, what if it's an important duel and we're losing, right? Uh, let me see if Sinister Serpent is indeed in the stick. Okay, Daedalus is in the stick. Tribe Infecting. Okay, okay. Mobius. Nice. Okay. Okay. Thing uh, do I have Sinister Serpent? I do. Okay. I, I thought I did, but, you know, you know what I mean, guys? It's, it's, it's been a while. And, you know, it, it's important to, you know, check to see what you've got. Anyway, go, Fenrir, Ghost Fang Venom. Attack his life points directly. We're winning a duel, we're winning a duel. All right, and go to for the maximum damage. We will equip Metal Morph to Grandor here. Yeah. Go, Swallowtail Spike Slam. Is my deck flawed? Yeah, it is, Bastion. All right, we win. 534, not bad. We destroyed quite a bit of monsters in battle, so... Heh, I lost. I learned a fault in this deal. I have to recalculate my equations. Yeah, back to the drawing board, buddy. Okay, yeah, let's use the PDA and save after that. Um, now, that shouldn't be... That duel didn't take us too long, but I think we'll do... Uh, we, we'll do one more duel. some uh, Gatorade by the way yeah drinking yeah this right here uh, yeah just fruit punch pretty good pretty good but uh <sighs> sorry about that speaking of that I think I'll pour some more but um yeah I think we'll do we'll do one more duel and that'll be the end of for this episode so let me just get a little more hydration there Ooh, I can tell I haven't recorded in a while, man. My voice is just kind <clears> of <throat> almost giving out. But anyway, as far as the plans for today, I think we'll go for two. Game for two, game for two. No, but seriously, though, I think we will uh, record two episodes of this and maybe an episode of Nightmare Troubadour. I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling after that. Because after these, probably actually after this episode, or maybe the next one. Like, I'm gonna get some breakfast and stuff. Uh, I don't remember dueling this guy that much. Ah, oh, you must be the one clamoring to learn about duel theory. No, 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 no. Need to be impressed. I forgot what his voice sounds like. Oh, no way, I remember. He was like, the one doing the current. He's like, hey, hey, you, mon petit, I'm do. Let's spice it up. Now I activate another spice card. Yeah, his voice was so weird in the anime. Alright. Must have drawn Scapegoat. Or some kind of quick play. Uh, yes, we did indeed draw Scapegoat. Alright, there we go. Alright, now I activate Foolish Burial. Ha! And this burial won't be too foolish, because once I send Sinister Serpent to the grave, well then... My little snake will return to me in the next standby phase, and he'll keep coming back every standby phase until you banish him, Seder. Alright. Next. Hmm. I think I'll set a monster. And. We'll wait and see if he plays a field spell. I doubt he will, but. Actually, you know what? I probably should have played my. Dueling Lesson 1. Draw a card. Oh, you already knew that. But yeah, dude. I probably should have played my field spell in case there's a magic jammer. Penguin soldier in attack mode? Are you serious, bro? Oh, yeah. I forgot. 
I mean, yeah, they do like to be playing Man Eater Bug in attack mode in this game, for whatever reason. All right, now it's time to hammer out the details, because when my Iron Blacksmith Kotetsu is flip face up, well then, I get to search for an equip, and I think I'll take the Snatch Deal. Yeah, cause my monster line not looking too good in this episode. In this uh, episode, yeah, a little slim, a little slim. Dueling lesson six. I end my turn. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, dude, are you serious? <laughs> I don't ever remember him saying these lines. That's funny. No, I don't want to chain. Yes, return to the hand. Okay, luckily we drew giant red sea snake, so I'll activate a legendary ocean. Now that we're down under, this gives all my water monsters 200 points, but it also downgrades them by one level in the hand, making level 5s to level 4s. Alright. Take down that penguin. Excellent. Your mastery of dueling theory grows. Whatever you say, bro. <laughs> I learned lesson 1. Draw a card. Oh man. <laughs> I never would have figured that one out. <laughs> According to Dueling Theory, now it's the time to activate my spell card. Look you here, mon petit, another spice card. Oh, I I can't do his voice at all, but I know I know it. I know he like he basically served up like he had like a recipe deck and spice cards, and also like um like one was like. Spice pepper lemon spice pepper like he he had such a weird anime deck, but basically Like the main thing this guy was known for is like being forgettable. It's kind of sad in a way, but You know, it's just it's just a thing uh, Let's bait out the magic jammers now. I activate no moment of extermination <laughs> Dude Oh man, here's another lesson. Learn to activate your face down cards like this. That way you can waste that card from your hand. <laughs> Although, I I don't know, there is an argument for that because for no movement of extermination, right? If you do hit a trap, oh yeah, Space Wombo, good thing we got rid of that. Yeah, there is sort of an argument to have for that because, um, yeah, because if you let, um, Extermination actually hit a back row and it's a trap, it will banish all copies from both players. So that's. Yeah, you know, that's kind of. I don't know. Maybe if you just. You really, 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 really want your magic jammers for the rest of the duel. Maybe it's. Smart. Or you want a certain card. Like, let's say you have a blue eyes in hand, right? And you want you wanted to discard this at a graveyard. Okay, I can see that making sense. I can see that making sense. You know, but I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes the AI, oh, thank God we got seven tools, uh, really wastes their chances. All right, now I summon my seven colored fish. All right, Professor Sater, check this out. My amphibious bug broth can hop over your monsters and attack your life points directly. I don't even need to go through your man eater bug yet. Ha! Go, Hydro Cannon. Oh man, I love it. Hmm, well done. But not enough to ruin my lesson plan. Oh yeah? Well how about this? Giant red sea snake, chomp him. Oh what the Oh tainted wisdom! Yeah, I remember this card. Um yeah, this card actually actually fuses with the ancient brain to make a skull knight. <laughs> it has the weirdest effect, like when when it's changed from uh, attack to defense. Uh you know, kinda like Dream Clown. Well instead of having a good effect like Dream Clown and um, destroying a monster, you shuffle your deck. Yeah, that was a really early card, but uh, I don't know. According to Dueling Theory, now's the time. Oh, here comes the Sash Shield. You guys ready? I, ooh, I called it. I called it. <laughs> Dueling Lesson 5. I attack Amphibious Buckroth MK3. Whatever you say, Teach. Ah, uh, well, I guess we're not gonna get a perfect victory on this guy, but whatever. Still gonna win. No worries, guys. I draw. Now, Snatch Deal, give me a thousand life points. And like I said, Teach, we're still gonna win. You know how? You know why? Well, 
actually... I was thinking I could snatch still his, like, cannons, and then... You know, what we can do here is actually just compulse our own monster back. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that instead. And my turn. I mean, unless he tributes it. Well, if he does tribute it, I'll compulse whatever he tributes. Doi. Uh... Okay. Just gonna attack my Sinister Serpent. Not too worried about that. Alright. And you're gonna end your turn. Ending the battle phase. In phase two. Uh... I end my dueling lesson six. Okay. Alright. Oh, and I drew another Compulse. Wow. Yeah, Compulse is so good. Alright. As is Sinister Serpent. I'll take those life points. I'll take those life points. It's my turn to use Snatch Steel Teach. Gimme. I equip this to your cannons that have 2,000 defense. Ha! You sh now, if he was smart, he would have used its effect to flip it back face down. But, uh, nope. And now, I owe my loyalty to my monster. I activate Compulsory Evacuation Device. Giant Red Sea Snake, return to my hand now. Now you're with your former master where you belong. Go, giant red sea snake. And just for the damage boost, we'll attack with Moa Cannon. We're winning a duel, we're winning a duel. Uh oh, yeah? Well, does this ruin your lesson plan? Surfatize me, Captain. You learned quick. <laughs> well, I did learn dueling lesson six about ending your turn. That was very important. Alright, only 422, but we defeat Professor Sater. Well done. Perfect tactics and strategies. I feel like making you my assistant. <laughs> Why are you making that face? <laughs> oh, good one, good one. Alright, guys. Well, looks like we have a duel by mail next. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be it. <laughs> he was just like, Why are you making that face? Because <laughs> no, no one wants to be his assistant or hang out with him in general, so... No, but anyway, guys, um, yeah, <laughs> that was fun. Alrighty, well, thanks for, um, joining me here, uh, but I'm, we're gonna end it here, and most importantly, I'm gonna actually double-check the recording, and, uh, I, I did make a couple safe seats before this, just cause I haven't recorded in a while, and, you know, th things happen, accidents can happen, but, uh, alright, guys, I appreciate you all joining me, and I will see you all time. Have a good day. I love you, Yu-Gi-Oh!